Hi, I'm Christy. Hi, Christy. I'm Kelly. I'll be your examiner, and this is Bob, your patient. Okay. You are dispatched to the residence of a 43-year-old male who is complaining of chest pain. Upon arrival, you find your patient seated on his couch. Okay. BSI, is the scene safe? Yes. Okay. Uh, the nature of illness is chest pain. I will call additional help, um, some ALS and BLS if available, and I'm not going to have anybody hold their spine right now. I don't think he has a tra traumatic situation. Hi, sir. My name is Christy. Um, what's going on today? My, my chest hurts. Okay. He is responsive. His chief complaint is chest pain, and his airway is open. I'm going to check his breathing and his pulse. And... Okay, his breathing is about 16 breaths per minute and his pulse was 80. Okay, your patient's respirations are 20 breaths per minute. Your patient's heart rate is 110 beats per minute. Okay, at this time I'm going to put a non rebreather with 15 liters of oxygen on him. And I'm also going to listen to breath sounds really quick here. Are they clear and equal bilaterally? That is what I hear. Yes, your patient's lung sounds are clear and equal. Okay, do I see any bleeding on his body? No. And what's his skin color, temperature, and condition like? Your patient is cool and diaphoretic and slightly pale. Okay, he could be going into shock, so I'm treating that with the oxygen and I'm going to try to keep him warm. At this time, we are going to transport. He is a priority patient. I'm going to do some history taking. Sir, can you tell me what you were doing when this started? Yes, I was out in the garage uh, cleaning it up. Okay, and does anything make this worse or better? Seems like it's a little better now that I'm sitting down. Can you describe this to me? What does it feel like? It's a real heaviness. It's just like something sitting on my chest. Okay. Does it go anywhere other than your chest? Maybe my neck a little bit. Okay. And on a scale from 0 to 10, if 10 is the worst pain you've ever had, what's your pain right now? Um, I don't know. 7 maybe? Okay. And what time did this start? Oh, well, in the last half hour before I called, I guess. Okay. And have you taken anything to help with this pain? No, I haven't. Okay, and have you ever had anything like this before? About a year ago, yeah. Okay. I did. Okay. Do you have any allergies? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. How about medications? What kind of medications do you take? They gave me something with an N word, something at the doctor's office the last time. Do you know what it was for? My furthest chest, when my chest would Would hurt. it be nitroglycerin? Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's it. And you haven't taken any of that today? No, I haven't. No. Okay. Any other medications? Mm, no, I don't think so. Okay, how about past medical history? What's your What's your medical history like? Well, I'm really good till the last year or so when I this happened to me one other time. But okay, so you got the the chest pain that you had. How about strokes, seizures, diabetes, no. anything like that? Breathing problems? No. no? Okay. Um, how about the last time you ate? Can you tell me what it was and when you ate? Yeah, I ate this morning. Um, I had. Uh, I believe it was a piece of toast and half a banana. Okay, and can you tell me a little bit more about what you were doing in the garage before this started? Well, I maybe was working a little harder than I should have been, but I was lifting heavy boxes up onto a shelf. Seemed like that's when it really started to come on. Okay, now I'm going to push on your chest a little bit here. Does this hurt at all when I push on there? Not really, no. no. Can you take a big breath in, and I want to see if that hurts anymore when you take a big breath in. Does that make your chest pain worse? doesn't really change it, no. Okay, I'm going to listen to breath sounds again. Take a big breath. Okay, and one more big breath. Okay, am I here? I hear clear and equal bilaterally? That's correct. Okay. Um, right now I'm thinking it's probably not musculoskeletal, and I think it's probably not respiratory. I'm leaning more towards a cardiac problem, cardiovascular problem. Um, I did take his pulse before, and I can't remember what was that. 110 beats per minute. Okay, I'm going to take his blood pressure. You think I'm having a heart attack? You know, sir, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm doing my best to try to figure out what's going on, and I'm going to take care of you. All right. I'm going to take your blood pressure right here and see what that is and see how you're doing with that.
I got a blood pressure of 124 over 88. Okay, your patient's blood pressure is 130 over 80. Okay, and then his respiratory rate again? It's still at 20 breaths per minute. Okay, and quality, is he labored or shallow or anything? No, nope, he has adequate uh, breath depth. Okay, he does have the oxygen on. My field impression for this patient is he's probably having some kind of a cardiac event, whether it's angina or a heart attack, I'm not sure, but we're gonna get him to the hospital as fast as we can. Um, right now my interventions are the oxygen, and there's nothing else that I can really do for him right now other than continue the oxygen. Um, I'm going to reassess this patient every five minutes because he is unstable. And then when the EMS gets here, I'm going to give him a report. My report would be I have a 43-year-old male who was working in his garage when he started experiencing some chest pain. Um, his initial blood pressure was, can you tell me again what it was? Uh, 130 over 80. Okay, 130 over 80. And his respiratory rate was 20 and his pulse was 110. Um, we do have him on oxygen. He has experienced this type of before, this type of chest pain, angina. He does have nitroglycerin. He hasn't taken any today. And we do have him on oxygen for treatment. And I'm done with the station. Thank you. Thanks.